In this era of generative AI, large language models or LLMs are either a product or part of a product. In either case, they are imperative to be monitored. It is vitally and crucially important that you monitor your large language models or your applications based on those large language models for hallucinations, for prompt injections, and other safety and security aspects of your data. When it comes to hallucination, it means that irrelevant or incorrect responses. Prompt injection refers to the fact that prompt is being manipulated to make LLM respond in a negative or incorrect way. And then we have several issues around the sensitivity of the data if the data is being leaked or being um, malformed or there are various issues with the data. So all these three things are the major pain points when it comes to the security and monitoring of large language models. And that is where this tool Y Labs, which is based on Langkit, really shines through. Langkit is an open source tool for LLM observability, whereas Y Labs is a commercial platform which enables you to monitor your end-to-end -end pipeline of your large language model, and you can monitor various matrices around it. When it comes to matrices, you can use Y Labs to monitor response of LLM and its quality, your P2 leakage, toxicity, sentiment analysis, intrusion and jailbreaks, injections, hallucinations, and also topical and thematical errors or uh, malfunction of your data. And there are a lot more things which you can monitor with Y Labs and also with Langkit for that matter. Okay. Now in this video, I'm going to give you a demo as how you can install Ylabs or Langkit and then how you can use a GPT system with it. You can also use this Ylabs with any hugging face model and then monitor it graphically and visually quite easily. So let's get started. I'll be using Google Colab for this purpose and you can use these tabs in any Linux based instance if you are running your model there with any hugging face or even GPT based models. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to install few of the prerequisites. The most familiar prerequisite is transformers. So I'm going to install it and let me also change the runtime to E4, which is the GPU. That's done. And now let me install transformers and blank it. The commands are very familiar pip install transformers and pip install like it. Let's wait for it to finish. This is almost done. Transformer is done. Blank it is at its last leg. Should be done. Yep, that's done. In the next step, let's import the blank it's LLM matrix and then initialize it. Let's wait for it to finish. Should not take too long. And once that's done, we are going to use a sample toy chat example data from uh, Langkit. It is uh, on the right hand side, you can close this code snippet. This is just an informational message which Google has initiated recently because a lot of people are using these third party widgets. Let's wait for it to import and get finished and initialize. So that's done and first time it takes a bit of a time but in subsequent trial you should be fine okay so this is where we need to load the data there are 50 records in it you can ignore these warnings that is good and fine and we'll be doing it shortly so don't worry about these warnings for now now let me quickly sh show you the profiler view from here as what exactly this data is so this is the data with different columns and cardinalities and I'm not going to go into this detail. It is just that um, if you look on the left hand side, these are the different matrices around prompting and then toxicity and a lot of other things as if the response is toxic or not or it is what sort of sentiment it is positive, negative and a lot of other things. And it goes on and on around 33 of them. Okay. That's done. Let me also quickly show you the sample data which we have just downloaded. So 
So the format of this data is like prompt and its response. And this is the data which we are going to work on to see if it's, it is toxic or not, if what is a sentiment and all that matrices. And that is what we are going to uh, observe or apply our observability of LLM on this data set. Cool. Now in the next step, let's use the GPT model. And as I mentioned earlier, you can use any hugging face model for it. All you need to do is to replace your um, tokenizer and your model name, and that should be good enough. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, that's done. Okay, now I'm going to get a function and then I'll try to explain it. So I'm taking this from YLabs tutorial and I'll also drop the link to it. Okay, so what is happening here is that we, whatever prompt we are getting from the above data set, we are encoding it or by using our tokenizer, generating the response by using our GP2 model and then decoding the output in the response format. And then we are creating a dictionary around prompt and response because that is where dictionary work. Let me run it. That's done. Now, let me quickly show you what exactly it looks like. And you can change uh, maybe QTOG. I'll just say cute cat just to be a different. Doesn't matter really. Let's wait for it to finish. There you go. So it has narrated a story around it. Okay. Now, this is where we can go and start our um, Y lab thing and then check to see how it works in our Y lab. Now, before I start using Y lab with this, you need to go to Y lab's website and then, sorry, here. If you already have signed up with your, then use your email address. If not, then you can uh, log in with your free email. So once you signed up and logged in, you'll be presented with something like this in the screen. From here, just simply click on create resource and then give it a name. I'll just call it GPT-2. And then resource type should be LLM and then click on add models or data sets. That's done. Now, here you can see your model ID is model dash three. Go to uh, access tokens and then it's a mistral token. Let me revoke it and I'll create a new token just to show you. I'll just say this new token as GPT-2 and I'll just say, okay, just ex let's expire this tomorrow and then create access token. So this is your access token here which you can copy. And this is your org ID, which you would also know. So these three things you need to grab from your YLabs website, your model ID, your org ID, and this key. Okay, let's go back to your collab. And from in the collab, you need to set all of these. So let me quickly set it. So this is how you set all these three things, which I just showed you. Let's run it. That's done. Now in the next cell, Let's initialize this by using this init uh, matrix. And this is a bit slow at the first time. That's also done. And now let's run our Y labs. The code to run is simply this. We are just using the telemetry agent and it is initializing. You might see some of the um, warnings here, but don't worry about them. That's also done. Now let's go to Y labs platform. Here you can see that we have over this project GPT-2 and you can just click on view dashboards here. Once you click here, you can see that we have some of the data which we have just uploaded. So there are 33 matrices and we have seven matrices tag for performance, 10 for security. And then there is a lot of other information. And if you click on telemetry, then um, you can click here and it will show you some of the data which it has found here and then you can drill down by metric here. For example, if I scroll down, if we just say from toxicity, it is going to show you some data around toxicity. And there are a lot of other information which you can drill down. 
I, because this video has already uh, become a bit longer, so I'm going to cover how to interpret all of these matrices in another video. This video was more about how to install, how to get running with this file lab or the LLM observability in general. Pretty neat tool, I would say, and easy to. And the best thing I like about this tool is to that how easy it is to integrate it with your large language models or with your applications. If you're already using it, please share your experience. Or if you have any better uh, alternative, please share it in the comments and I'll be happy to look into it and maybe I'll do the video. One last thing I would like to show that their pricing is quite enticing too. And I have no link with them, by the way. The starter pack is free. Expert one is $125 per month. And I believe this month they are offering one month free with a coupon, which you can grab from their YouTube channel, which I believe is the same name, Y Labs. And then there is also an enterprise option. So this is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.